Food banks have released their annual Who's Hungry report saying that this is a call to action from a city in crisis. As more people are depending on these services, they're calling on each level of government to tackle food insecurity. According to the report, 1 in 10 people in Toronto are now relying on food banks, up from last year's 1 in 20. And many food bank clients, like Sue Ellen Patchison, are unable to afford basic necessities. I think it's been probably five years since I've taken my anemia medication. Because you can't afford it? Because I can't afford it. Um, the same with my thyroid medication. I haven't taken that in probably about eight or nine years now. The Daily Bread and North York Harvest Food Banks included data from 79 food charity organizations showing there's been over 2.5 million visits this past year. One in four clients are children and youth. That is a policy failure on all three levels of the government. Service providers warn there's no sign that the situation will improve anytime soon. The report calls on all three levels of government to take action. We need decent work, we need affordable housing, and we need social assistance rates that even come close to meeting the cost of living in the city. And until we have those things, we're going to keep seeing this problem. Already they've seen a 154% increase in new food bank clients in the past year, especially those between 19 to 44 years old. The fastest growing rate is that demographic and they are working. So they're doing what they should be doing, yet their incomes do not allow them to thrive in community. It means that they are having to rely on food charity. 34-year-old Ryan was forced to move back with his mother, Sue Ellen. There's just nowhere to go. The Patchison family is concerned with the potential of a dramatic rent increase. Currently, five adults live in a three-bedroom co-op. It means a lot of my neighbors are going to be ending up on the street as well. It means I don't know what's going to happen to my family. I don't know if we'll even be able to stay together. They say they're among the lucky Canadians, but they too are joining the calls for action. Go get your hands on something. Yell at your politicians too, sure. But the thing that's going to help you is going to be go get your hands on something. The Daily Bread Food Bank tells me every elected official from all three levels of government was also sent this report. For a closer look at the Who's Hungry report, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Faisa Amin.